Yeah. Which is uh, which is honestly well played. Like when you're, if you're not looking to play the timeout and play the lead, like sometimes you just have to acknowledge that I can take more risk than my opponent and start getting things going. Yeah, and she can gain things going. We have another Joker set up here, but this time the red jacketed Veets coming in against, you know, Westchester's with Eliakim, which it has been a while since I've seen Eliakim play, and I love watching his snake just. Just play around with his opponents, especially because Snake is just a, ver a versatile character. So many different playstyles you can experiment with. But Joker has one and only it has one playstyle, and that's when's Arsenal coming out so I can beat you to the ground. Yeah, especially here where a lot of autonomous projectiles, generally speaking, means that you can time a lot of them with Rebels guards, get a yep. lot more Arsens going and right into the face of the opponent. That uh, that Arsen up smash doing doing the dirty work taking out uh, Eliakim in order to establish this lead against Snake of all characters, that's really, really important going into the latter half of this game. Mm -hmm. And you're already seeing Vita's use of of the gun in question that we were seeing a lack of in the last game. We're seeing a lot of in versus this Joker, where it's doing so well against someone like Snake, who is going to be doing, do, doing so much ledge guard situations with Nikita. Perfectly timed Nikita and perfectly placed Nikita. And now Vita is now a stock deficit, uh, or an even stock game. A little bit of advantage state with that extra kill he was able to get and going in for the up throw into the back uh back air again extra gun damage is so good for some chip for some chipping uh, you could write a thesis about how <laughs> good gun is there's a two hour video <laughs> about how good gun is it is you could put a yep. four hour video like yep. this move is so 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 much for joker you detonate grenades with it and you interact with your opponent at safe distances both with chip damage and with tangible hit stun off of a non-projectile ranged option so good so and our send gun gone gone you know gone. It, it's funny gone. you would think with a name like gun uh, it would be more obvious. Guys, it's a gun. He's got a gun. He has a gun. Get out of the out. way. <laughs> Get down. Literally, He's I got have a gun. a gun. Keep yourself safe. And like him, surprisingly so, taking the first, the first of the second stock away from Veach at once to seven percent. Of course, we know Snake is a nice, thick boy. He is living these percentages for a while. Back throw is definitely gonna be taking it. And like him with Rage is not gonna be something you really want to deal with as Joker with limited Arsene. Oh, I lied. Look at you were saying earlier. There, boom, boom, Arsene. Boom. The instant light. Uh, it is interesting to kind of quant uh, look at this matchup like an on paper standpoint as a uh, lol Arsen gun. Um, <laughs> the the way that Snake oftentimes has to play this matchup is just kind of turn it into a war of attrition. It's like, okay, yeah, you're gonna like chip damage me with this with your gunplay with your eha. Like yep. your grab combos are really crazy, but as long as I can stall out Arsens effectively. Um, all of this damage just becomes empty advantage because I can easily interrupt you over there by throwing bricks at you that explode. <laughs> I can just throw here. I can I can detonate C4s. I can throw grenades at you, and if right. you're not aware of them at all times, you are going to get overwhelmed by this character, which. Hopefully Beat is not feeling that way whatsoever, but lovely the use of the gun into the grab. Lovely look at this, the fourth throw, trying to get a down smash as well, but the snake uh, dash attack will be punishing that entrance into the four tilt! So let me Ooh, he was cooking. As a former Joker player, I feel your pain beats, but let, <laughs> let me show that again. You know you know the gun sliding, you know how that's like really cool and all that stuff. You get a lot of like you get a lot of mo you get a lot of mobility. You're like, all right, I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this at one quarter speed. I'm gonna slide. And I'm gonna get in your face. It's negative on hit. <laughs> it's negative. negative on it's, hit. Ne it's negative on hit. It's negative on hit uh, with characters with certain frame data. And Snake's frame four F tilt means that no matter if the gunshot comes in, because Joker is going into that dash animation, yeah. you can just like, oh damn, I got shot. Anyway, die. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a gun. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Look, Snake, he's, he's a real super soldier. He takes bullets all day, and he, that's why he doesn't even wield a gun. He, he, needs, have a he gun. needs something stronger. He needs nukes. <laughs> he just has nukes. Bomb them all is what Snake is thinking in his head. <laughs> But in all seriousness, we're going into a game two. Alaya came up a game, and I think the th I think the, the big struggle also is that Snake just lives like absurd percentages if your DI is excellent, and Snake just kind of being a kind of a thicker, heavy man just lives them, unlike Joker. But excellent drag down into us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for just fucking you, Veach. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the DI. Where the hell is it? 
<laughs> the DI? Where was it? Straight up? You were holding in? <laughs> but did you think it was gonna down smash? No, Snake's tall enough to just get up smash no matter you where it is, no matter oh, wherever no. you are on the stage. And it's. Oh, yep, this is a Joker game. <laughs> Beats, I never once doubted you, actually. It's funny because it feels like Beats is such a hot and cold player where if he's allowed to move, he's allowed to groove and like do his thing, mm -hmm. like mosey on over, then Beats, Beats can just feel like he's untouchable. But then there are sometimes against characters, against players that can play disruption enough and throw off his game or throw off his mentality. Then you can start like finding chinks in the armor that Joker provides. Mm -hmm. But if you don't find those, you see what happens. You get yeah. two stocks and you just now took Beats' first stock and we're only two minutes into this fast-paced game. And hopefully, I, I really, really need Lion King to be able to have time to set up more grenades, just like right now. But in the hand, there it is on the floor once more. A two of them for your efforts. And I love the conversion that he just used with the grenades into the back air. Love it, love it, love it. This is the only time where Let Him Cook is like an actual tool in a character's arsenal. He has to cook. <laughs> he has to He's start cooking. setting up. He's cooking these grenades, he's finding Ooh, these timings. That, that Arsene Downer is going to mean a lot, but he and misses a, the second one. Mm -hmm. And the free up tilt for your effort, because you know once you're at like 115, up tilt is going to kill you. Like, uh, Snake is just a strong, strong, strong character against Joker, but here we go. I am getting really scared for Eli Can He stays in his air for as long as he is, because Beast has been kind of cooking him whenever he can with those up airs, with those downer dry downs as well. It's just whatever he really wants to do, look at that up air again. But again, Snake has his own downer to account for that, so. What are we gonna see? Back to ledge, and we get caught with the back air, but like I said, Thick Boy! Thick Boy yeah. lives. Needs a lot of tools. Instead of trying to set up for the up air, though, the up tilt comes out. 64% here, and Snake, again, max rage. We're talking about max rage up tilts and potential two frames. A whole lot oh. of stuff. That grenade got obliterated, and half of the Arsene meter is gone. Half Arsene uh, meter is gone. You saw that shield coming down real slow as well in that moment, but here we go, coming in with a back air from the... From the parachute, and now we have base Joker on display. We should be seeing a back here. That was nasty, actually. You saw where Lycan was. My man was on his toes. I'm sick. No time to wait. It's tough, right? Like when you're watching Joker, one of the best things about position heavy characters like Joker is where you can just use. This was gross. Uh, <laughs> when you, uh, look, our send things. But it's when good. you can use your mobility as an offensive tool and a defensive tool. Because oftentimes when people think, oh, Joker, he's so hard to hit. And that's true. But he can also reposition mid edge guard or, or feint or tool to yeah. pivot into a coverage where you couldn't even think he could be. And like, it's one of the better tools in his arsenal. And it's so hard to quantify just how good empty movement and strong positioning is without a visual example like that. Yeah, I mean, that. The way you put it, which is perfectly, just ex exemplifies exactly why Joker is such a strong character anyway. Um, great repositioning, great movement, great comeback factor, that being of Arsene. But now we're switching over to a different kind of style of stage. We have a single platform, we have FD uh, Blast Zones at disposal, and uh, Ubo in the piano next to me because I love this, this song, song go crazy. <laughs> but so does Beats. Kingdom Hearts is cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> but so is Joker eh. coming in with that backer. Not <laughs> Not able. Thank I, you, I, I, I need a Family Feud like buzzer, mm. the X. I need that. <laughs> but again, we're seeing uh, a lot of Kim, I think, wants to use that as much as like, that middle platform for like C4 setups or things right. like that. But Joker, Joker's just. Does he really have a bad stage besides like FD? Mm. Uh, Joker can be flexible Where he can and go be. Where he wants. Uh, yeah, it, like ha having that sense of mobility just lets you play around on any stage that mm -hmm. has a platform and when. FD can be matchup specific, but exactly because this uh, so the Hollow Bastion platform is the same attributes as the Smashable platform, yep. same height from stage, same length, all of that good stuff. All right, what's happening? We're seeing Vitz Vitz uh, kind of move a little bit, and when you have a neutral getup like that, uh, one of the best things about Joker Fort Smash is the fact that it's pretty active. Mm -hmm. So just timing it, to, uh, timing it right, and being flexible with said timing turned. This into a three stocks to one favor, but the old adage, never go up three stocks to one. Mm -mm. I do love that Beach was actually super aware of the fact that Eli Kim is definitely going to be looking for those up tilts. Uh, actually, was able to punish right through it twice now by now. Arsene once again out and active, trying to get the down smash connection off the up air, but not going to be able to get that. Uh, and giving Eli Kim a little bit of lease on life right here, a little bit of curse damage from the uh, from the Eha. And yeah, this, this is scary because what do you what do you even do? 
And your your up tilt isn't even nah. Yeah, just barely missing Finally. the dash attack's not enough either. Alright, yeah. that was funny. Okay, he tried to re he tried to stall out his stall like the while he was floating back down with the uh, with his own uppy, but Nikita is just like I'm gonna follow you. I think one of the best tools that for a comeback factor for Snake, like if you're gonna find anything, um, I, I want to actually pin it on neutral air. Because this is a button we haven't seen Eliakim use a ton. But Neutral Air not only does it do a metric ton of damage itself, it's not going to matter for this game. So it's back air. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, I mean, Joker back air. Bro, if we're talking about buttons, like, that's a, that's a button. <laughs> that is a button and uh, a half. That, that's like definitely you... the button of all time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but one of the... One of the interesting things I've been seeing about Alakim is that it's very, it's almost very Brawl Snake-like, where mm -hmm. you're just trying to pivot off of your, uh, trade off of your back air, into back airs or into up airs instead of looking for any sort of like, combo tools. Yeah. And one of the best things about Snake is that not only, you, at low percents, in order to really get yourself some momentum, you can do Grenade Nair Dash Attack, which not only does a ton of damage, it also instantly sets up a ledge trap, depending on your positioning on stage, which... Snake is a pretty good ledge trapper, I hear. <laughs> I mean, I hear that, right? I'm just not seeing enough of it against someone Honestly? like Joker, who has a really... It's not by the type of recovery. It's also not an SD recovery, because what was this? But like I was uh, saying, SD... Uh, SD has a great tether recovery with the grapple, um, typically so he can kind of hang around and do whatever he wants for a little bit before he comes back to, back to the ledge. So it gives Snake not enough opportunity to actually exemplify that great edge guarding besides when Nikita is out and about. But again, finally, Lyakim like getting a, a little bit of a start right here with an unfortunate SC from Veet and getting some extra credit for, the, for his, his efforts as well. Yeah, I mean... We're in loser semis. Like, hold that. SD, get better. Get like, skill, skill issue. Skill issue. Arcadian. <laughs> you stay safe out there. Keep yeah. yourself safe. Ooh, I, I, love the... some of these. I like the down air, though, attempt, but an even better parry on the part of Veets. Uh... I think they need to restart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, check the controller. <laughs> um, I, I th it might just be fast flying too much. Like, what is going he, He's fast flying faster than his tether can come and grab the ledge. So the first one was because he he fast fell after using his up B. So he got the boost from the up B as a stall. And then he fast fell trying to up B again, but didn't have that extra like, jump yeah. that you get from the first one. So just, that was it. He's second dying. one, I'm pretty sure those the first use of up B. He just is, he's cooking too hard. He's, he's, moving, he's, he's moving too well. He's trying to move uh, off stage, and Joker should really be staying on the stage as much as he can. At least he's trying to contest Lycan's recovery option. He's trying to go for a downer, you saw that there, but Lycan able to stand to the ledge and get his iframes before him, but there's that up tilt. Yeah. Anyway, game five. Yeah. That game four wasn't real, in my opinion. You know, that a wise individual once informed, impressed onto me that roll is just the startup of Snake up tilt. <laughs> Yeah. 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 And I, I was agree. like, damn. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> you kind of spit in with that one, actually. That, that's, that's really funny. <laughs> like, watch it, watching him just, like, fall down and, like, attempt. Watching, like, those characters that have a tether, like, Min Min, Joker, Violet, and they're, like, trying to get back, and it doesn't happen in a little, like, circle. Peak comedy to me. Peak comedy. It's like, there. But uh, not really. <laughs> by, by the way, I just want to quickly interject. Um, I was doing a, a count of how many sets the Blast Zone got from earlier today. 62 sets. Wow. Jesus Look Christ. At all of these that's gamers. pretty close. We, we thought we'd be like 70. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's a lot. The power of quad stream and also yeah. commentary during quad stream. Ooh. Yeah. The, the technology, the quad stream, the blast zone, and uh, all of that will be on the Hassle 3K YouTube, which you can check out right after this, uh, right after the stream is done. Which is also it's on Hassle 3K YouTube. It's a very large VOD, so YouTube will take a long time to process it. It will be up sometime tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be up yeah. tomorrow. But what's also up is Lai Kim with that up there from Veet, looking to take that, take this game five into his own, uh, into his own win of the set because that game four, he was not, he was not having that game four happen again. Like absolutely not. Bro is staying on the stage. The Toji Wozies are on the floor. And it's a good stage to do it. PS2 is extremely wide. Those platforms are so accessible for Joker at basically all times of the set. And, uh, man, like just the habits that we saw Eli can get away with, like these fastball air dodges, uh, the recoveries high, are just getting stuffed out and snuffed out 
by Vitz in so many of these openings. That fair one could have resulted Ooh. in a stock as well, if not for the grenade trade. Yeah, definitely that grenade trade keeping like him alive a little bit longer. Now we have immediately going in with the RSN gun, which is doing a little bit more damage for Eliakim. That's Vitz is going to be really fishing for. Uh, actually aiming away from the Nikita and able to get on the ledge without much damage on top of him. I think we're going for go, go, going for Fusto over there, which would be really funny. But instead, we're going for the F-Tilt 1, 2, done and done. Now, this is a better position than Alakim has been in a in a minute without SDs. Game 4 doesn't really... It counts, but it doesn't really count. Um, <laughs> when it comes to the information, it's just like, ah, oh, damn. Like, I guess that happened. Still, though, you have to maneuver off of this. And Snake with a ton of rage. Footstool gun and trying to get the down smash on the platform. That would have been sick. <laughs> would have been... It would have been sick, but unfortunately, this is Smash Brothers. We're yeah. not allowed to have sick moments. On, like, you can have one per set, and that's really it. And right here, again, another a, uh, fully charged AHA off on uh, on Snake right there. 160, 170, and counting, actually. And you saw him going for the, the up to it. Probably would take. It would have taken it, but it would have been a little bit too much, especially with Rage going and, of course, high percentage from Vitz. But look at this now, like him on that last stock of a possible loss of a. Uh, a possible winner, like, like you know, bracket stock, honestly. Could be out okay. of the game, wow, the bracket, if this is not turned around in his favor quicker than later. Yeah, better sooner than later if you're gonna, if you're mm -hmm. him have to try and find this stock off of an Nikita or off Oof, of an Edgard, okay. trying to go for the sleeping bag back air, but just doesn't catch the active frames, does catch the landing with that up tilt, though. Nice. Doesn't matter if it's the late hit, it's still killing all the same. It is definitely gonna be killing, and now we should be seeing a really scary situation where both players are going to be wanting to fight for their lives to continue on throughout top four. Uh, last stock situation, Beats having great positioning, keeping control of center stage, and just as I say that, I like him repositioning the effort, but not getting the read in towards the center of the stage. Oh, that Nikita may prove to be a death sentence. Oh, the grenade, though. We're in such a precarious position here, Mott. We're seeing gun. tension come up, but Snake has so much more mm -hmm. just oof behind so many of these hits. If he can stall out the Arsene, he's absolutely favored to take this set. And I mean, literally, we... you're right. Just has to stall out the Arsene as much as he can. Literally, only a few seconds longer. And now we have base layer Joker. Bro's a high school student. Bro got up tilted. Bro got an F in class. That's crazy. I mean, that's what happens when you try and uh, get fancy with it. And despite the strength that Veach was showing in games two and three, the the loss of game four is going to sting. And to the fact that you have to go to PS2, hat, and even then had such a strong lead starting this stock. But it's the fault of when it's the fault of this style of Joker, right? Like yeah. when you're cooking and when you're moving and everything feels great. Oh my God, it's heaven. But when you start to get too fancy, when you start to like overcomplicate the simple things, go beyond, uh, stop doing the level zero, then you leave yourself open to things like this. And it really sucks because Beach was so aware of whenever Eliakim was looking for those up tilts when he was about above 100%, uh, right. give or take. He was still gonna either dodging through them, spot dodging, rolling away from them, or just punishing it with a high, uh, a high option or back her out of shield, and unfortunately, he was just kind of... I forgot about this camera angle. <laughs> just keep going! He God was, damn it, not. I forgot. <laughs> but unfortunately, he was just kind of slipping right there. I think game four just kind of took him away, you know? Yeah. With those literally two SDs that honestly might have been the reason that he is not going throughout uh, the winners, uh, losers. That's absolutely a... Uh, a key reason of like why someone can just like start to lose a lot of momentum there. But kudos to Eliakim, right, for not only playing out this entire, playing out the matchup to his yeah. uh, benefit, but never sticking uh, or moving away from what was working. And some of that's obvious, right? Oh, a snake is up tilting. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but the the ability to just like, hey, I know what I I know I'm not trying to play at his tempo. I'm trying to play at my tempo, mm -hmm. and that's going to be with grenade cooking. That's yep. going to be with a lot of dash checks, a mm -hmm. lot of grounded utility. And it really, really worked out in Eliakim's favor, able to just to weather the storm and take it in a game five set. Beautiful stuff. Lily, yeah. great stuff to Vs. Uh, hope. Oh yeah, for sure. He got what? Top. He got EF fourth. Yeah, yeah. EF fourth. He's big. He's big yeah. chilling.